From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Vanessa Ariza. Here are your ABC Action News headlines. The lawyer for the Laundry family says that Brian Laundry, Gabby Petito's fiance, is now missing. Northwood police are working with the FBI to locate Laundry and said that the FBI were at his home removing property in order to help find him. Per ABC News, according to both the attorney for the family as well as Northport police, Brian's family says that they have not seen him since Tuesday. At one point, ABC Action News spotted police enter the home with brown bags come out to look inside of a silver car. There's a large gathering of people outside of the laundry home demanding answers while police continued to ask for calm. This morning, the nation's capital is on high alert with law enforcement bracing for any potential violence ahead of a planned right wing rally. The Justice for J6 rally is being held today to support the rioters charged in the deadly January 6th Capitol attack. Right now, a new fence is up around the Capitol. And in addition to more security, the D.C. National Guard is expected to be on standby to provide help in case of an emergency. An FDA advisory committee recommended boosters for people 65 and older and those who are at risk of severe COVID-19. But the group decided not to endorse the plan that would allow Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine for all people 12 years old or older. After several presentations, most of the committee agreed that there just wasn't enough data to support Pfizer's application for a booster shot. So go ahead and check in with meteorologist Jason Adams for a look at your forecast. And it's going to be another soggy one for us out there with scattered showers and thunderstorms. A good bet across the Bay Area today. Temperatures are going to be held into the mid to upper 80s, given the added cloud cover and those higher rain chances. And we pretty much have the same setup for us heading into your Sunday outlook. And it's what we've been seeing for the last few days. A lot of moisture offshore. Some of that gradually pushes onshore in the form of widespread showers and storms. Locally heavy rain is a good bet as well. And some of you could even see some isolated flooding concerns like we have the last few days, given how much heavy rain has been out there. Sunday pretty much looks the same. Coastal morning shower and storm chance followed by scattered showers and thunderstorms. A decent bet for the afternoon and evening. Highs held into the mid to upper 80s. Vanessa. Thanks so much, Chase. Remember, ABC Action News is always on when you need us. Just make sure to add our free 24-7 streaming news channel. It's your favorite connected device. We'll see you there all day long. Enjoy your Saturday.